entertainment the good morning niger show and of course here yeah, from one guest to another now we are talking photography um uh, back in the day they called a cameraman uh camera woman but now they are professional photographers uh, we get one kajat festival where they come uh, very very soon lagos photo festival not be the first time we don't they do them uh, uh, but the, this year own it will get us a good different small very very different and very special i'm going to explain the difference of this year's uh, lagos photo festival just in a little while now the guests were inside the house by the time you see them you will know why this year edition different so we're going to join welcome our two guests in the building uh, we get uh, i hope i pronounce the names very well first of all uh, we get uh Nguveren ahua and uh, also she had the development <coughs> excuse me she had development manager for lagos photo festival and also one of the curators we in the house we get uh valentine umanski am i correct yes. all right welcome to the building thank you thank you um so where do we where do we start from um first of all now as we are do some pigeon show uh -huh. I try you try small. You try small. You try small. Mm -hmm. We don't employ you already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell us a little bit about Lagos Photo Festival. Ah, uh, okay. I go take ground for pigeon. Sorry. Uh, Lagos Photo Festival. Um, we've been doing it for the past nine years, mm -hmm. and Lagos Photo is the first mm -hmm. international festival of photography in West Africa, mm -hmm. in Africa in general. Okay. Okay. So why why is it different this year? Well, this year is extreme. Mm, how do I take down for pigeon? Ah, <laughs> I beg. Um, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> let, okay. let me just do it. Okay, just go ahead. Me, just go ahead. Just have to do what I know. Just All go right, ahead. So this year is going to be extremely different because we're going to be showcasing 22 photographers from um, across Africa and across the globe. And the majority of those photographers are going to be female. Okay. It's the year of the woman. Aha, uh -huh, it's the year of the woman. <laughs> and that's beautiful. Um, Valentine, um, is this your first time? For, um, uh, is this your first time with the F Lagos Photo Festival? As a curator, yes, a curator. but I was here for a curatorial residency of a month uh, in February. In February, okay. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? I'm French. French? Ah, bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. <laughs> exactly. That, that, that's the much I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> no, I know more. But anyway, um, so photography in Lagos, photography in... I also believe you've been doing photography before. Uh, for, for quite a while. For how long have you been into photography, maybe? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years, ah, beautiful. Now, photography, uh, coming into Nigeria, photography in Nigeria, what would, what, what would you say about photography in Nigeria? Is it, um, did it meet your expectation? Do you think that there's still more that can be done? I mean, coming in February, I was really surprised by the quality of extremely young photographers, and that's something I think that defines Nigeria. Uh, and Nigerian photographers. There is always more that can be done, but it's a start, and Lagos Photo is an institution that will continue its program and its work over the next coming years. So we're just adding a little step. Okay, that's good. Now, speaking about this year's um, Lagos Photo Festival, and um, being the fact that, like you said, it's the, it's the year of the women. Mm -hmm. um, well, I don't have the statistics, but it's almost obvious when you go out there and you see that we have more men in industry than we have women. How significant do you think it is uh, for us to do something more for the women this year? Really significant. The general statistics uh, across the board for art institutions is about 80% male exhibited artists uh, for 20% women. This year we're basically flipping that those numbers. So we have about 80% women exhibited and 20% women. So. Um, I think the reason why this is happening generally is that men get more training mm. and access to schools than women, first of all. And then um, generally are also participating in the broader machism, sexism okay. trend. All right. um, I'm sorry, Mgoveren, could, could you correct me? Is that, that it? No, that's pretty good. Okay. It's Gouveren, but yeah. Gouveren. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what should we be expecting um, this year's edition? Well, this year's edition is going to be absolutely amazing. Like I said, it's the ninth edition and it opens this Saturday at the Federal Government Press Building at 9 Broad Street. Mm -hmm. And this year you can expect to be not only entertained, mm -hmm. but educated. Mm -hmm. um, we're having a lot of amazing conceptual photography and we're also having a lot of amazing programs because as you know, Lagos Photo isn't only about the exhibitions. Yeah. Um, we have workshops that we're doing in association with Canon and Fast Forward, and we have um, open mics, we have, uh, 
Um, we're having um, different collaborations with different art spaces all across Lagos. So it's not only at one spot, mm. but you can just expect to be blown away. Ah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me jump into the future and get to that day, well, uh, you know, for the festival basically. Will there be any competitions for photographers uh, displaying their works and uh, will there be any prizes maybe? Um, there won't be any competitions. Mm. Um, we had an open call for the National Geographic Portfolio Review um, for the last six or seven months. And the National Geographic Portfolio Review Award, essentially what they're trying to do is they're trying to um, invest into the life of one singular photographer, right? So what they've done is we, they've had this open call with Lagos Photo where um, photographers from Africa and this diaspora could submit their portfolios. And we'll have a short list of 25 um, artists and from that short list, one photographer will be selected to get the award of $5,000. Okay, so do they have to send in their works? Yeah, the uh, submission period has closed, mm. but there's definitely going to be another one next year. So um, interesting photographers should send their portfolios to lpreview at africanartist.org. I should start taking pictures of my dog for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't start taking pictures of your dog. Well, start taking pictures of your dog because we all start from somewhere. Exactly. But... Um, you know, what we really believe with Lagos Photo is in the power of photography to tell the stories so, that the world needs to see. Okay. And we also believe in the power of, you know, indigenous photographers to tell their own stories their own way. Because as you know, the um, landscape of African photography has been quite unequal mm. in that um, there's been a majority of the portrayal of what we call the 40s, disease, death, um, displacement, and there. So we are really trying to change that narrative. All right, that's beautiful. I have some ideas in my head, but I I might tell them to you. I might not, depending oh, on if I'm, on. Be, <laughs> if I'm going to be. If I'm going to be. But then very quickly, um, and this is Valentine. Um, you know, uh, there's a saying that uh, a bad workman always argues with his tools. How important is? Many a times we've seen this happen. Someone takes a picture and then, no, I'm sorry, it's the camera. How, <laughs> how important is the, you know, the equipment you use as regards the skill of the photographer? I think it's considerable important, um, but it's not essential. Actually, for this year's uh, Lagos Photo, one of the original um, input of this year is also that we're showing a lot of video and we're even showing some painters. So it's a little broader also than pure photography. And out of all this wide range of photographers, some even use their cell phones. Mm -hmm. So the tool can be secondary if the idea is great. That's my belief. Okay, that's good. Now coming back to you about the ages of photographers these days. Now I've seen a lot of young photographers. I think there's a you know it's um, I wouldn't call it a revolution now, but well, now we can see that photography goes like you rightly said. It's gone beyond just using um, professional cameras. People do a lot of things on their smartphones. What would you say is the right age for a person to start off photography? Oh, any age. Any age. Mm -hmm. um, from five years until, until you're in the grave, essentially. True. Um, we are all visual people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we all experience the world through how we see. And I think that with the proliferation of smartphones, with all of these really amazing um, cameras inside them, that pretty much anyone has the opportunity to train their eye and to train their skills mm -hmm. to become a great photographer. That's beautiful. All right, um, um, how can we, I don't know, on social media, on, on what handles, how can um, people get more information about the Lagos Photo Festival? Well, you can check us out on Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our Instagram is the, at Lagos Photo on, on our website, www.lagosphotofestival.com, mm -hmm. and on Twitter, of course. I can imagine there will be loads of pictures to see on Instagram. <laughs> there are going to be loads of pictures to see on Instagram, and you'll, go, you'll be able to see the entire schedule of events this year, and it's going to be an amazing, amazing lineup. We're extremely excited, we're extremely proud, and we just can't wait for the public to see what we've been cooking up for the last year. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. We definitely will be there on Saturday to see a lot more, and I just maybe I could brush up my photography skills when yeah. I get there eventually. Sure. I'll start with my phone. <laughs> You'll start with your phone. Yeah. All right, then, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you on our couch. Mm -hmm. Um, Govern and Valentine. I'm still going to take lessons on your name, but All thank right. you very much for having us. And I kept you longer, but you, you instructed me. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.